Nahuli namin sila ngayon, tapos nakapag-piyansa sila on that same day. Sa susunod na gabi, ando na naman sila. So parang kani, sa amin, parang nagiging daily routine na namin itong paghuli sa kanila. Eh. They are called shine girls in Davao, batang tunog or children of the twilight in General Santos. Vitamin C in Cagayan de Oro. They go by different names, yet theirs is a shared story. Born into poverty, robbed of their childhoods, sold for sex. had high hopes of leaving the hard life in northern Samar when she quit secondary school to work as a maid in the big city, just like her mother. But the domestic work in Manila promised by recruiters turned out to be sex work in the red light district of Angeles City, Pampanga. I came here in Manila in 1993. I was 13 years old. I was still in Pocamisa. Tundo, isang, isang araw. Tapos dumaritso sa Pangpanga. Pero hindi ko po kalain na ganun po ang trabaho. Tapos nandoon na rin. Umpisaan ko na lang po kasi ano, wala kami pera. After three years of waiting on tables and dancing in bars, Grace made the transition from so-called entertainment to sex work. Yung meron, meron pong costume na nakipag-usap sa mama sa namin na gusto ako ilabas. Sumama po ako kasi babayaran niya ako ng sampun libo para pagkakuha ng dalaga. Kung pumayag po ako nun. Nakuha ko po siya lahat po nakuha ko sampun libo. Kaso, hindi lang po sampun libo ang binayad sa akin, kundi 20,000. Ayaw ko, di ko po alam yung sampun libo. Baka napunta sa baro, napunta sa mama sa amin. Earning the bar fine ruled Grace's daily life that began at 5 in the afternoon and ended at 3 the following morning. Bago po ako sumama ng customer, nag-ano na po ako, nagtitik na po ako ng shabu. Kasi may nagturo po sa akin, mga kaibigan ko po. Magtik daw po daw ako ng shabu kasi para mawala daw ang hiya ko. Dati, ang tinitik ko dati nung bago pa lang ako sa bar, ano po, Yung ikis at saka volume, sinasabay at saka yung red horse. Numbed by drugs and alcohol, she would service as many as 10 men in a single night. Not all children are trafficked from the provinces to Manila. Children are also trafficked from cities to provinces. 17-year-old Tessa was a fresh high school graduate from Montalban when she was brought to a strip show in Cebu City and issued work documents that said she was older than she really was. Wala po sinabi sa amin na magsasayaw. Tsaka ano, yung babar pine. Sabi lang po sa amin, entertainer. Tapos puro foreigner daw po yung ano, mga pumupunta doon. Tapos malakas daw po yung kita. Tapos no ano po, sabit, ano daw, maganda daw nga po yung trabaho doon. Malaki yung perang may uuwi namin, pag ano, tapos may allowance. But the terms of payment make sure that the girls are always financially enslaved to their employers. 
For example, a girl keeps only 500 pesos from the 1,500 bar fine. The rest is split between the manager and the bar. Apart from living expenses, the girls shoulder the cost of condoms, which customers can reject using if they so choose. Even payment for fake birth certificates, identification cards, and other documents needed to secure three-month hygiene passes are deducted from the girls' salaries. Pagkagaling po namin sa, sa, ano, sa club, diretso na kami agad sa bahay, Magana lang magpapahinga konti tapos matutulog na. May ano may mabang babaeng nag-away. Minsan sa pagkain, hindi na pwede kasi marami pang babaeng kakain kaya hindi na pwede umulit. Girls deemed too plump to attract customers ate even less with only one meal allowed them daily. Employers also forced them to do various household chores, from doing the laundry to cleaning floors, in between nightly jobs at the club. Gising namin, iyon na naman. Papasok na ulit kami. Minsan, ano po, parang ano po, gusto ko nang magpakamatay na ano. Kasi parang hindi na ako makakaalis doon. Hindi na kami lumalabas. Para po kami ano bilanggo, wala kaming kalayaan. Also in that Cebu City brothel was 19-year-old Lisa, who felt the same and decided she could take no more of the abuse. While waiting for a chance to earn a little more money so she can go home, Lisa learned about the end child prostitution, child pornography, and the trafficking of children for sexual purposes, or ECPAT. Nagpunta po ako nun sa ekpat. Sumarap po ako doon sa judge. Pagarap ko po sa judge, tinanong po ako kung bakit ko daw po naisipang iano si Tita Ani. Recruiter po si Tita Ani. Yung mga babae parang binibenta. Parang ginasa na nila. Lahat parang pinatay na rin nila. Yung mga pera, nimbis na yung pera na sa amin napupunta, sa kanila pa napupunta. Inano po sa akin ng judge yun. Lahat po tinanong sa akin, yung nakapag-ano po nawaran to pares. Nung araw din po i-re-raid yun, yun din po lipad ko papunta po dito sa Manila. 43 girls were rescued and later filed charges against their recruiters. In such rescue operations, various government...